much for those weather updates. So, speaking of weather, summer presents its own set of challenges when it comes to food, but helping us sort out the smart choices from the not so smart choices is nutritionist and dietitian Neva Cochran. Hi, Neva. Hi, Natalie. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. I have a lot of questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, good, good. I'm ready. Okay, good. So everyone knows those, those summer barbecues come around every weekend. There's somewhere else to go. My personal weakness at those barbecues are always the pies, the, the lemon meringue pie, whatever, the fruit summer tarts, those kinds of things. How do we make choices like we can still eat those things but maybe be a little bit smarter about it? You know, the, the, it's really a, a key of balancing your choices. So if you're choosing something, you know, that's higher in calories and higher in fat for your entree, say a hot dog with chili on it, then, you know, you might want to go for fruit for dessert. But on the other hand, if you're having like a grilled chicken breast with a little barbecue sauce, which is much lower in fat and calories, then you can afford those pies or cookies or ice cream. Uh, so it, it's really a matter of balancing the choices and looking at, you know, uh, what, what can I get? For my calories. The other thing is balance anything that you eat with physical activity and because summer is a time that it's easier to be outside and be active, you know, that's a way to burn off those extra calories. So, um, you know, take advantage of, of that to, to balance your nutrient intake. Sure, sure. Now I'm sure when you go to barbecues and, and, and summer foods in general, there are hidden culprits, as there always are, but things that you might think off the top of your head are healthy but actually are not at all. What are some of those hidden culprits that we are that are typical that we can try to avoid or at least as you said eat in moderation? Um, you know, thinking about like salads that have a lot of, you know, high fat dressings like coleslaw or potato salad, you know, you can make those a little differently. You can use some low fat mayonnaise or maybe some yogurt or, you know, even have something like a fruit salad instead of one of those kinds of salads. Um, you know, the key is, again, to balance your choices. Um, a lot of people get really concerned about, like, is there a little bit of sugar in this ice cream? But, um, you know, the, the, the key is that you need to balance your sugars with the the nutrients that you eat. And whether it's sugar or high fructose corn syrup or honey that's in a food, it really doesn't make any difference to the body because the body just recognizes a sugar as a sugar. The key is, you know, choosing foods that provide you with a variety of nutrients, something like, you know, ice cream or chocolate milk or flavored yogurt or a granola bar. Um, you know, they, they provide you nutrition as well as with a little bit of sugar. Now, I couldn't help but notice, I saw that you're drinking a Diet Coke. It's clear something up for me here. I hear so many different things about regular soda versus, versus diet soda, but you're drinking Diet Coke. So where do you stand on that? On that, you know, when we go to these barbecues, should we reach for the diet sodas instead of the regulars? It really depends on what you individually prefer and what your, your calorie needs are. You know, it's okay to have a, a soft drink that, that is sweetened. Um, you know, as long as you can afford the calories, that's a choice that you make. On the other hand, if you are, you know, watching your calories or need to lose weight, then, you know, maybe a, uh, a, a non-sugar sweetened beverage is the one for you. So, you know, there's all kinds of beverages for all kinds of people and it's really just based on your individual needs, how active you are and how many calories you can afford. Great, Neva. Now as we go out, is there a website that we can direct people to if they want to get more inf nutritional information, things to help them along the way in the summertime? Yes, um, abs absolutely. Um, a website that parents can go to or anybody can go to to get more information about nutrition and particularly sweeteners is sweetsurprise.com. A lot of expert information and even some blogs that I've written are on there. Sweetsurprise.com. Neva Cochran, thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank you. It's been great. Still to come on Living